Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on the beautiful channel, it's a beautiful day. How you doing? Um, let's keep working on this. Uh, but before we get started, as usual, check out the description box, all the nice links. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, and we're all good. So, what we want to do today, basically, is... Uh, um, am I even recording? Yeah, okay. Basically, I want to make sure we can end the state. Okay, so remember I created this end state function. Uh, in game state um, what I'm gonna do <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead save this because uh, and let it save stop lagging thank you so I'm gonna open state.h and state.cpp okay and we'll close everything else just for now just so we can focus uh, and then I'm gonna actually this end state function, uh, I'm gonna create check for end, okay? And I'm not gonna set it to zero, actually I'm gonna define it in state.h like that. And then I'm gonna create a boolean value here, bool wants end. Okay, now wants end is always gonna be false. This wants end false actually it's always gonna start as false okay so this boolean if it's true or we can we can kind of we just say quit okay just quit check for quit makes it for a better better ah uh, there we go so check for quit okay now what check for quit is gonna do is it's going to check the sf keyboard um, is key pressed sf keyboard escape or something we can we can fix this later i can have a button here we can have whatever we don't even need this check for quit really later on but for now we're just gonna set this quit to true okay uh wait this quit equals true okay and that's about it. And then we're going to have a const bool reference get quit like that const. And then we're going to define that. So we can get if the uh, if the function wants to quit. quit okay so there we go so now we don't have that as a pure virtual anymore but what we will do as a pure virtual is virtual void update key binds okay and for now it's going to just be called update key binds um, probably going to need that in there we'll see we'll see as we go along and i'll set that to zero so every function has to define update key binds okay um yeah so every function has to define that or every every child class has to define that so check for quit is going to look for the escape and once it does quit we will be able to quit the game okay now let's close state open game state dot h game state dot cpp uh like this Actually, I, I like this more. It just makes me focus a little more. Anyway, uh, void update key binds const float dt. All right. And we're just going to define that. I don't know why it does that. Wait. There we go. So I'm just defining this. End state doesn't exist anymore. So let's just remove end state. Uh, update key binds okay so this check for quit is gonna run at update key binds okay uh, t what excuse me what uh, const for the update key binds okay that was nothing uh, anyway there we go and then we're just gonna do this update key binds like this we're gonna send in DT and in here we can we can kind of 
you know, check if we're pressing keys or whatever we're doing. But check for quit is always going to run. And it's going to quit as soon as we press escape. Okay. Uh, so if quit is true. Then. We're going to quit. Uh, hello from game state. Let me just do this. If SF keyboard is key pressed. SF keyboard A. Just something. STD C out. A. Okay, this is just to try it out. Okay. Uh, so there we go. We're in update. Let's close these two down. Let's go into game.h, game.cpp. So in game.cpp, that will work. Update. Okay, so we're updating the state. Um, okay. If the states are empty, so I'm updating the state. Okay. If this states dot top dot get quit. Okay. That means it wants to quit. Then we're going to delete this states dot top. All right, and then this states dot top dot pop. All right, there we go. And everything we want to kind of do, we could either do in the destructor, but that's not really clean, you know, because when we quit the game, we probably want to do some quitty things right like <laughs> things that happen when we want to quit the state before we delete it and pop it so maybe save the character um play an animation uh, do something like that so we could do that in the in the uh, in the what do you call it the structure that would be okay but it's not really clean so i'm wondering if i should still have kept that sorry about that guys virtual void state end state let's just call it end state I guess right okay let's just call it end state um, okay all right, then we'll do this states dot top and state. Okay, so that means that should work if we close state. Um, I'm going to game state dot cpp and the game state dot h. Then we're probably gonna have to create this again. Functions void. Uh, and state define that again sorry about this uh, I should have thought it thought it out more um, but all I want to do in here for example right now is ending game state okay just to try it out so here we go now we got a bunch of functions uh, I'm going to open up game.h again game.cpp and we're going to see if this works. So if I run this, maybe it's going to crash. Hopefully I can... Uh, didn't crash. Okay, so I'm pressing A. That's working. If I press escape and now I press A, nothing's happening. And cool. All right. So it didn't crash. That's very nice. I can't end the game itself. So... What I could do, what I could do is um, if this states dot empty, or I could just do else here if it is empty, 
Um, that would be the application's end. Okay. Um, and that would just... This... Window... Close. And the game depends on that the window is open. Okay, so that would just close the game completely. All right. Okay. Pretty much, pretty much. This is also a function though. Okay, that feels good. So if I press escape from game state, I should quit the game. Okay, A, A, A is working. Escape. Okay, quit the game. Because it saw that there are no more states existing in the state stack. So it just closed the window and it ended the game. Um, okay. All right. So how much time do we have? A little more. Let's see. Maybe there is it's a good idea to create a function before we leave. Before I leave you. Um, a function here. Let's see, update, and then I just want to split these up, render, um, core or something, functions, um, um, regular functions, I guess, I don't know, something like that. Uh, let's just do end, end application like this, and this will be called when we end the application instead of the destructor I don't like using the destructor that much because it's not always that clear um, functions as well let me just put that in there uh, like this okay so we can do anything in here so std c out maybe ending application okay basically we're probably not going to use that always but uh, this end application and then boom so it's going to do everything it needs to do as it closes the window uh, okay it ended the application obviously and, and when we're good we're good it did say that there I don't know if you saw that uh, but it did so the cleanup is going to still be done in the game destructor I guess but anything else here we'll see if we can we can merge those somehow uh, maybe we'll, we'll call end the application in the destructor uh, so maybe we could do that we'll see we'll see how that works out but for now we'll keep it like this uh, but thank you for watching in this video at least we uh, made sure we can end the applications and the states so that's good that's always needed because we're going to be adding states like crazy later so that's cool um, probably gonna add some kind of entity class and player class the next video so we get some kind of movement in the screen so we're gonna move around the character then we're probably gonna add just more engine stuff basically keybind stuff and everything to make it easier um, so yeah there you go thank you for sticking with me thanks for all the support thanks for watching uh, check out the description box drop a like subscribe if you like the content and yeah I'll see you guys and girls in the next one alright bye bye